diagnosis phase, so scanning and enumeration goes hand in hand because it's kind of uh, similar. So the difference is that for enumeration, we are looking at how, what are the um, active accounts running on the endpoint, you know, active, what are, what are the active accounts, service accounts, you know, or the domain accounts. For example, if possible, the default password, you know, that's seen in clear text, shared folder. We are also looking out for device information, protocols, you know, service information. These, these are just trying to list out what are available within the endpoint. So that is basically what enumeration is all about. You know, so we have um, animation techniques, you know, so and this, this, uh, that includes basically extracting user groups from Windows, like I've said before, what the list of active accounts, either local or domain, uh, domain accounts, you know, trying to do a brute force to active directory, you know, trying to extract default password, you know, so all of this we'll see in some minutes how we can run this, you know, using uh, from our lab, right? Uh, so the, the, it's, it's a very good thing for us to establish um, to to establish what our objective are during the scanning and enumeration phase. Like the the, the four basic is to detect live hosts, open ports, services, and versions of those services, and also to run a, a vulnerability scan on the on the endpoint itself you know so these are our key objective right so let's talk about before let's talk about uh, the 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 common services and ports that we look out for during our scanning you know so first of all is ftp which is on port 21 telnet in port 23 you know we can see smtp you know which is for it goes on port 25 also dns you know, UDP and DNS TCP on 53, right? So we can see HTTP, NTP on, on 23, the same TP, also LDAP, you know, on 39, right? So it goes on to say, and this is very critical too, around services, uh, Microsoft specific services that we also look out for, uh, remote procedure call services running on port, uh, that's 135. You know, um, we are also looking out for NetBIOS uh, name service. We are also looking out for NetBIOS session services, both running on 137 and 139, port 137 and 139. Then uh, we are also looking out for SMB over TCP IP, that's on port 445. This is a key uh, port. As if you, if you remember, we checked through our MMAP scan, we could see that. Uh, most of these ports, as you can see, are few that are closed uh, because they can be exploited. You know, so this is best practice, right? This is uh, this is what we expect that uh, most organizations should again adhere to. You know, to close unused and uh, unused port and keep only uh, the ports that are relevant for for to run the business especially port 80 and 443, you know, so every other port, if not used, should be closed, you know, so um, basically these are some of the key information. So let's just talk about SMB because this is, we'll, we'll, we'll be, we'll be uh, looking into SMB enumeration a lot during our lab. So for SMB, um, it's just like um, so. SMB is a Microsoft Windows service that's responsible for folder and file sharing. You know, so um, it's uh, on 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 Linux environment. It's, it's called uh, uh, Samba. You know, but on on the Windows environment, it's called SMB. You know, so basically, to allow endpoint share folders and files within the same network, right? So we'll be running through some SMB enumeration and some of the key uh, key uh, commands and scripts that will be running include uh, SMB OS discovery to, to discover. So because the key thing is that since um, the SMB is, um, is is window feature that that uh, basically that that is basically used to share files, you know. So of course that means it's, it's going to contain list of for example, usernames, you know, it's going to 
to help us see um, the list of users that 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 can that are permitted to to share files, for example, and also the share folders. So the, so going tracing is very is very wise, you might say, because it's going to help us enumerate a lot of information. You know, you know, share drives, users users that are permitted to to uh, to share information so that will give us some sort of insight about what we are trying to do um also we, we can and this these are some of the useful commands that we are going to run during our lab through enumerate um, smb within our network drive so um what are some of the most common smb vulnerability that we look out for uh majorly ms 1701 that is a very key vulnerability you know um th this is uh this is exploited by WannaCry and some other ransomware out there like petia you know this 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 even to date a lot a lot of malware still exploits uh ms1701 like configa you can see configa there too so we need to run uh run uh um uh, um uh, we need to scan our environment to see if our endpoints are vulnerable to some of these um, exploits, you know. And um, we are also going to look out to see open shares to see if there are open shares out there, and um, if we are as if if we have uh, access or permit to to access those shares, right? Um, and lastly, we have, if time permits, we're also going to run through the vulnerabilities uh, scan, maybe using OpenVars or Nexus, right? So let's go through the lab just quickly. So uh, the first thing, like I said, we'll be running through would be to scan our, our network. Uh, so this is what we'll be doing. Just looking at the minute trying to okay. So switch on to roots. Okay, so we are logged in as should. So the first thing we are going to do is to run um, an air map scan, you know, to help us um, look out for open ports, services on our target. So we'll be doing this and now so run using T4, which indicates the speed. Um, so the speed can be between T4 and T0 to T5. You are using T4 to, to run a, um, a fast scan, right? So I'm also using so T4. Then a sync scan. I'm also running uh, a version scan and O dash O flag and OS operating system detection scan. So then I'm going to just put in uh, the IP address 192.168.1.1. Quickly try and run the scan. So the question, uh, so you guys might be asking, okay, where did I get this one O two from? Okay, so because of time, I'm just gonna show you guys. This is we have um, a Metasploit able operating system here, right? So and the IP address, as you can see, is uh, currently. The IP address, as you can see um, on the board, is you can see 192.168, you know. 
192.168.8.102, which is the IP address. You know, so if you're on a network and you don't um you you, you don't know the IP address of your target, that is not an issue. You can just quickly run. You can do a net discover, for example. You can run and do a net discover. Net discover. You can do a net discover uh, dash i, which means interface. Then you can specify the interface. This will really help us, for example, um, find out what in what um, what IP addresses are active within our network. As you can see, you can see we have one o two, which means VM, right? So. This is how you can also get the IP address. So, um, okay. okay. So, let me go back to. So, this is it. I think I closed. So, sorry. Going to run our uh, Nmap scan just quickly. Time. So. So, um, so the, the purpose, like I said earlier, the purpose of the Nmap scan is to gather information around, uh, help us to yeah. find if there are open ports, open services, right? As we can see, we can see that we have list of open ports uh this, all these ports are open you can see you can see the services running on those ports you can see also a very good information here is the version that are running on, on also on of, of each of the services running on those port right so you can see you can go down also to see <clears throat> that the operating system is you know linux it's telling us that it's linux you can see the mac address also here you know, so um, gathering information here, it, 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 we have, um, you know, we, we this is to uh, also inform us that uh, the about the list of ports that are open, and we now need to assess each of them one at a time to say, okay, what else, what do we do next, especially, you know, so if it's a real life scenario, what do you do from this part? You know, it's it's to so now look start looking at the, the the various services that we have here. So say okay, you can start looking. For example, let me take this. Uh, do some Google searching to check if this, uh, as you can see, if it is a bit vulnerable. So this is V. Uh, this is uh, a, a previous version of FTP. So. You could look out of out to see okay is it vulnerable you need to just do some google search to, to gather information around if the um if the version of the um of the service that is running on the endpoint is vulnerable as you can see we can see from exploit db that, that there's some sort of um exploit for this um for the ftp service right so as you can see it's vulnerable, so we, this is a good point. This this a, this is uh, a vulnerability that we just discover, you know. So we can there are several out um several vulnerabilities uh, vulnerability out in on, on, on this um on this meta exploitable uh, VM. So this is just one of them. So the next thing that we need to do after this is. So the next thing we'll do right after now is to to run this uh, um, thing. The next thing we we'll have to look out for now is to run um, an MF script to, um, to to enumerate users. You know. To see if we can enumerate users within the um, the targets. So uh, let's do this running the MMAP script. So we want to see since we have seen the open port and the service. So we say MMAP. Oh. Oh. Right. So 
SMB sorry to SMB common dash user status and SD so let's oh so as you can see um trying to do an enum I'm trying to enumerate users right to see if I can gather a list of user on that uh, Mr. Sploitable uh, VM that we have here. So that is why I'm using this script. So I'm going to show you guys how um, it come about this script. So even before I run this, a very good way to search for MMAP script is you can just do like the locate. <clears throat> Map. <laughs> Stop the search. <clears throat> so what this will do is this is that this will help us see where we can gather information about uh, map script. Okay, so this is map. So, because I want to you guys to see exactly because we have our tools using MMAP here. Let me just run this again. So you can see this uh can see this as some of the location where we can get the script the script from this are the list of SMB scripts that we're gonna use. So if we copy this, it's going to take us to the location where the script is uh being located. So we can actually do this. do this right and uh, see this is the list of all the scripts that are currently on nmap you know that we could you know explore and for now we are trying to explore around the smb script why are we exploring around the smb script if you take a look at the results that we got from um our well so the results that we got from our, from our end map, you can see that port 405 is open. You can see SMB is, is, uh, is, is open and SMB service is currently running on it. So that's why we are trying to enumerate SMB to gather to get more information around like and around uh let's say the list of users on the endpoint the list of shareholders on the endpoint so that's why we are running uh we are going to run an mmap script on port 445 right so that's what we are going to do right now so let me just clear all these off yeah. run the script again and so I'm doing so to run a map scripts, it comes with the format you are after right um typing your end map, you go on with dash dash scripts, right? You go on with that dash script, then you go on SMB, right? Then you are doing um uh, enum, which means enumeration, uh, shares. So we are not being looking out for users, no shares now. Uh, so users that's NSD, right? So on port port dash p means ports, mm -hmm. then we're doing four five in the IP address right we have right dot init dot the targets and the victims IP address. So so the, the purpose of this is to um, enumerate the list of user on our endpoint to see very quick so 
see that we have several users accounts right on the endpoint like um you can see smb and enumerated uh, users we can take a look at uh we can see application we have application users and we have normal users here listed here we can see a normal user as you can see we have normal users uh, scroll down to take a look at so the account is the same good see user account games cp you can also go to sure see we have so many accounts here you can see this msf admin this seems to be like the administrative account and also this this is telling us the list of accounts that we have you can see mail right so this 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 is good information so um you know realize you know we need to copy out this so like like i said we need to have some sort of uh, um reports you know where we can store information like this so that after the information gathering the, uh, understanding and enumeration we will have a very complete information on how to you know better exploit our target right so uh, this this is useful information telling us the list of active accounts on on the endpoint but the next thing we are going to look out for is uh, to list vulnerabilities on the system so we now have we've, we've now been able to enumerate the list of users so now we want to see right we want to also enumerate for a list of vulnerabilities that we could have within the um, endpoint itself so to do this we we'll just quickly run through um okay so we can, uh, we can do that from here so next will be end map this has before that's your script right script right now we are running a funnel let it scan so it is then uh, the ip address of the target which is running to the right that's uh it's dot so <clears throat> Run, run this stand to also help us enumerate the list of vulnerabilities that we have that we could um, discover on the endpoints itself. So um, let's read on this. To open the timer. Okay, so switching user. So right now, the next thing we are going to be doing is to uh, also do an enumeration about our, the host name of our target. So how do we do that? Let's um, uh, we can we can use Nmap and there are other tools such as NBT Scan, you know, to help us enumerate for the host name of our targets, you know, or within uh, a network. So we are going to just do an NBT Scan. This can right then um we can scan for the range of IP addresses that we have on our network. Zero dash so one two dot one sixty eight that's eight so just leaving it as this that's the main one from the so quickly see the result so we can see that um, the ip address um uh, dot 100 so the host name 
plus one or two the posting is not as valuable okay. um you can also use ping was this also especially on windows this is a plus a plus one or two see um okay so let me try this i think uh let me try this one windows dash a this is my host machine this one is a two, sorry, that's eight, that's one or two, right? So I think this should okay, so good. You can see it's resolving back to the host name, right? So from Windows we could also get the host name. Okay, let's check check back our scan. So this is still running. This is still running. Okay. Yeah. So let's go on. So now we've been able to gather information around the host name. So let's move on to uh let's move on to we uh like like I said also we can also use nmap to do this to also gather uh information around the host name of our targets. So let's move on to running an, an SMB operating system you know discovery discovery scan so we want to uh want to scan to determine the operating system the computer name the domain and work group name so to do that we run our nmap scan we'll be using nmap to to run this and it's also the nmap script i'll be using to run this so between an smb right dash o x so most of these tools right all of these tools shall we all of these tools are available within the um within the this the user you know the user share and map script folder so it's something that we could you know, take and search for so it's actually available in there so uh, so we can go into our discovery scan. As you can see, so this is our SMB OS discovery scan. Discover, like I said, to discover our operating system, computer names, just as you can see on the quickly. So it also shows us again the list of ports, their states, and services. Then if we go down to but see uh, very important information around operating system, which is Unix, the Kadibash, and the Samba, which is Debian. You can see the computer name, the NetBIOS host name. You can see the domain name, which local domain, right? The fully, fully qualified domain name, right? The system time. So this gives us um, the, the operating system information about our target, right? So getting so for example if it's running on a uh, on a vulnerable um patch you know operating system patch and it is it's something uh, that we also need to you could you know look out for we do a search to see if this is vulnerable exploit So we have an exploit also for this version. So, so, so because we are checking an exploit database and seeing that we have enough information. So this is the second um, findings that we have to see that okay, the operating system version is also vulnerable that could be exploited. Okay. So uh, that's also a key information that we need to take note of. So let us go on with further enumeration. You know, so the next we need to do is uh, uh, let's 
sorry okay so i think our vulnerability scan is completed as you can see there's a lot uh i just quickly go on go on to check the most important one see and so what happened is that uh, mmap is going to run uh, against all the open ports and check uh, the services and the service version and check if they are vulnerable to certain exploit right based on uh, the list of um, exploits that it already has within its uh, directories so you can see here uh, um, port 21 is open it is ftp is going to run away we have this is so we are check, trying to check the state the state is showing that it is vulnerable that it could be exploited so the easy version of ftp you know can actually be exploited right so we are, we are going to pay attention to this and the very good part is that we have references here to help us see um, how we can coordinate those exploits which is very important you know very very important you know so we can also see um, the IDs. You can see the common vulnerability exposure ID. You know, the, this this is the ID that identify the, the uh, each vulnerability that that uh, vulnerabilities are discovered in the wild. Right. So it's a good one to start with. It's a good one to start with. So once we are done with our enumeration, we are going to try and see if we can explore uh, exploit this uh, this. Uh, 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 FTP version to 2.3.4, and also it seems to be like you can see it seems to be a bad door, right? That can be exploited. So if you go on and on, you can check, you can see, you can keep checking. Uh, you can see uh, port 22, 23, 25 is also is it's, it's also vulnerable, right? So we we'll actually take some time out this these are very 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 useful information for us you know to see how we can exploit you know so we can also see that uh what's 111 139 net bios port we can see 445 you know uh for samba right you can see 512 513 these are remote service port you know 514 for syslog you know these ports are also stated as uh, invulnerable. So this these are very crucial uh, information that we we can use together to uh, to explore to exploit our target. Right. Okay. So let's move on. So the next thing we will do is to also gather in, to gather information about our host, uh, the target operating system. Now we are moving on to uh uh so from um um we've also con uh, run the smb vulnerability scan to see what what is um uh obtainable what can be exploited so uh we also now go on to enumerate shares and uh share shares folder to see um to check if smb share folder uh, across the domain can be accessed, right? So we'll do this by running SMB, SMB map. So this is a tool that will help us generate SMB shares. So put the target IP address that we have. Okay. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. So right now, so that we help us check. So we can also um, use Nmap to also check for SMB shares, right? Uh, this is just going to Nmap here. So we can use Nmap also. Scripts. SMB, SMB, that's a name, right, that's shares, right, so that's shares, right, so um, we are, we are running um, the script on port 139, um, 
Microsoft uh, uh, ROPC port, then uh, SMD port 445. So we have our result. You can see the available share shared um, folders, share drive okay. on the endpoint. You can see that we have a share shared um, share drive. Anonymous access is not right. Let's just see we have all the ones. You can see that we have a drive access to access okay. that drive. Uh, Simple print system and uh, for them directory can also be accessed right so this is very useful information telling us around the share folders then um, so this is a, a very good one and uh, so this this information like I said needs to be gathered in a report that will help us see how we can better explore exploits or uh, uh, run our expert against the target and also one of the other things that I would like to check is um, to check for remote login uh, misconfiguration right so since why am I checking for uh, running this check because I can see that we have uh, in our, in our scan we have um, okay you can also see from the SMB map scan, you can see these are the list of, you can see that we have free drive access in 10, there are no access to other drive folder. You can see also, like I said, we have certain ports, like port um, 512, CCP port 512, 513, 514, uh, these ports are open. Uh, if this spot up one of the check that we can do right is to check for remote login misconfiguration right so uh, this the reason why we want to check for this to see if anyone can remotely assess the endpoints you know uh, so to test for this we'll just quickly run we'll use a tool called our login so it's a is a program uh, application that is used to remotely assess another endpoint right within that network just like smbs you know like we have a uh, file share for uh, windows for right for uh, linux environment we can use arrow login so i'm just going to try and use arrow login to add to, to check if i can remotely assess right the endpoint so I'll log in. Oh, I think this is so I have dash L. Dash L means list of user to list the user, right? So I'm going to try and do use roads. Why am I using roads? Don't forget we've enumerated a um, list of users, and roads is part of the list of user. We have other users such as MSF uh, admin. We have um, um, being we have different users that we enumerated earlier, so root is just one of them. So I'm using trying to see if I can remotely access the endpoint application using uh, the root user. Then I I pick. Well, so this actually shows that we can access the endpoints. Currently, we are in the endpoint as it is. So um, if I do Mostly, right? You see, currently I'm on on the metasploitable uh, um, VM. Uh, I can't also show you that we have. This is I'm on um the root directory currently. Uh, what is available? So I want to go onto desktop. I can check what are the list of user. It's uh the we see uh you can see that we have msf at me you can see we have root right you can check also you can see the process running um on the metasploitable operating system right so these are very crucial information that uh, actually can help us um this this just means that um if you don't check um, um updates 
um, the default password or, and do, don't check, um, for example, remote access. Uh, to, uh, that, this is to ensure that we, we, we must authenticate remote access to any endpoints, be it within our network or outside our network. So it's very important that um, authentication is enabled, two-factor is enabled. As you can see, I can, you know, remotely access the Metasploit TV machine without any user name and password. This is a misconfiguration issue, right? So uh, on desktop, I can see uh, I can see the files I created on the Metasploit table uh, VM, you know. So if I go on to open, let's see these, you can see uh, information. So if I save uh, sensitive information on that endpoint, this could be um, hacked. This is uh, could this could be uh, exfiltrated out of the network, right? So these are these are just very useful information. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's lecture. And uh, it shows that we can actually gather, um, um, we can actually make good experts from the information that we've gathered, you know, and enumerated. So, uh, thank you guys for listening. So, watch out for my next video. Thank you.